Oh, I am treating myself today. I find myself alone today. It's a great day. Listen, my son is going back up to college, which I'm really happy about. He was here for two months. Uh, I'm going to miss him dearly, but I woke up this morning early. I cooked for him. I packed a box full of food and all that stuff. And my biggest son, um, my oldest son, um, is driving him up to school and I, I didn't feel like taking that trip I'm not a big fan of that long trip so I thought you know I'm just gonna clean up this whole house and give myself a treatment in between so what I'm doing see my hair look at what it looks like it was tied down so what I usually do once my hair is like this like if I want to go out and I wasn't gonna go dye my hair and all that I put some water in my hand and I would do a much better job of it, but I am actually going to be dyeing my hair, washing my hair, and I thought I'd just take you on the journey. It's one year, one year since I've um, gone completely natural. I cut my hair off completely. Going to try and look back to see exactly what date I did it, but it's approximately one year, just maybe a little under a year, maybe just a little under a year, okay? so that i've went and my hair has grown up completely like really 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 well um i actually do have growing hair i never have a problem with my hair growing or anything like that so this is it and uh, i can see i can see some grays going coming through here so i thought why not cindy let's just dye it you know so i'm using this dye right here here it is so this is what I'm using. It's one. It's ten. Um, number ten, and it says just says black, and uh, that's it. It doesn't say not anything special. I think I paid four dollars for it. So we are gonna use that to dye my hair. It comes with this in the package as well, and then it comes. I mix. I already mixed the um thing for my hair, and it comes with. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It comes with the pair of gloves. So I'm going to do that, let's just do that. I'm going to give my, my hair a really good treatment, which it really, really deserves. I haven't treat my hair in maybe a year since I, since I got the cut. I didn't treat my hair or do, I didn't really pay much attention to my hair. And I also have to start using proper shampoo for my hair. I've been buying the VO5 from the store, which is not the best thing you should could do for your hair. So. I'm going to be paying closer attention to my hair. When I took off my braids, I actually wanted to just go back to, to perming my hair, which I'm not against, however, but then I take it off and then I look at my beautiful hair and I was like, yeah, I'm going to keep it for a while. And then I started um, doing it again. Like I tried braiding it and stuff, not with the deep braiding hair, but just braiding my own hair. And then I was like, yeah, I'm convinced I must, I must, um, <laughs> I must perm my hair or relax my hair back then, uh, you know, because uh, I've never really learned exactly how to take care of my hair. And I think a lot of us are like that. So I'm learning now, but then I looked at the hair and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to try to comb it or do anything like that. I'm going to leave it in its natural state and try to just, um... You know maybe wet it here and there because moisture is its best friend wet it here and there so that way it would be softer to handle and i also use to help with my curls i use um don't shrink jesse it's um the flaxseed elong elongating curl gel i use this here and I just bought some Cantu. So the um, the Miss Jessie gets it really, really nice and curly. But however, I wanted it to be have a nicer, softer feel. So I haven't tried this yet. So I'm gonna try the Cantu and see what it works. So let us go ahead with the with the coloring. Just mostly the front, but I'm just gonna pass it through in between. Just mostly the um, front. So what I you know what I usually do as well. So if you want to save and stuff like that, although this is not a lot of money for this, it's only like $4 before tax. So what you can also do, instead of mixing the whole bottle, you can just um, put it in a little container or something, your mixing bowl. I don't mean kitchen mixing bowl, like your coloring mixing bowl, and just use part and part so that way it's not mixed, so that way you can use it. You can just keep on using some and some. I hope you understood what I said. Okay, so that's what i'm gonna do 
I'm just trying to get where I know there is some grace. My, my problem area is just right here. This is just my problem area right here. That's it. Right here, that's my problem area, but I do know that I have some in between. So, because I mixed the whole bottle, I'm gonna go through. If I didn't, I was just gonna focus on the problem area, which is what I normally do. Just focus in the front where the grace is. Very stubborn, but I have this whole bottle. Instead of just tossing it, I'm gonna put it in between. My curls are not, usually don't have any gray, so. And when you color in your hair, put on something, you don't mind getting dirty or stained, you know? I have extremely thick hair, extremely thick hair, extremely thick and coarse hair. And I really love it. I really, really love it. And I'm growing to love my hair more and more all the time. I remember growing up, I used to hate getting my hair done so much. Because you know what? My mom used to wash my hair. Let's say on Saturdays, I would get my hair washed, right? Only first Saturday morning. First thing Saturday morning, I would get my hair washed. And I would be outside playing all day. And then at the ending of the day, I would be called to get my hair braided. And then my hair is dried and it's just in the whole thing. And then she has to um, comb it. And then she combs it dry. So those are the things those are the traumas i have about my hair you know that's the hair trauma that i have getting my hair braided they didn't know and i think they just used to comb it out when it's just in a big dry pile sort of like a buka you know it's a buka when they could um, making a buka to 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 um to to burn firewood and they have this whole big and i had a lot of hair and just imagine oh so i hate it getting my hair done those times so those are some of the traumas uh, and i'm sure a lot of uh, caribbean or black people with my hair type have that kind of and then you um have that kind of memory so those are the memories that keeps me from not wanting to deal with my hair and then the minute I knew how I had authority over my hair to be able to do my hair for myself, I was like, no, I'm not dealing with that. I did not know how, and that's the only way I saw they dealt with it. So I did I wasn't gonna deal with that. So then I got my hair permed, you know. Or we called it um relaxed. I got my hair relaxed, and that was it. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm going to go about and do my regular daily chores. I'm going to go clean my kitchen, clean my house, do laundry, all of that stuff. I'm going to work around for at least an hour and then I'm going to come back and wash my hair. Okay, so I'll meet you back here in one hour. So this is my hair. Okay. Let me show you. My finger is gonna be dyed. Well, I'm gonna clean it. I know how to fix it. Here we go. So I had this on for probably about an hour. I went, I cleaned up my kitchen. Look at it. The color is still in my hair at this moment. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go wash it out. I'm first gonna wash out this, this is my hands. I'm gonna wash this out and then I'm gonna put in the, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put in the stuff in it, shampoo and stuff like that. So let me just go wash it out. So I just give the first wash. Of course, should I call it like a rinse? So now
my first shampoo I'm gonna give it two shampoos so this is the first one let me go wash this one out and then I'm gonna come back once I, I do the second one and then I'll come back when I'm doing the conditioner oh I didn't wash it out in front really good. So I feel so it's my second wash. So now it the box came with a conditioner. Just apply it. But with all this here that I have, would this be enough? No. I should have another one somewhere. I found the three more because I don't normally don't use them. I'm going to put my hair in a plastic bag of some sort, whatever it is I can hold my hair. And then I'm going to go clean my living room, clean up a few other places. Because today is a cleaning day, remember? Let's see. I see a plastic cap here. Let's see if my hair can get inside of this. Yeah. I'm going to leave my bathroom to clean for last. I have this aloe right here and this is what I'm gonna use next this is it right here here it is I have it for a while but uh, it's still good look can you see the inside look at this you see this really good so I'm gonna blend up one I'm gonna wash this conditioner out from my hair here it is I'm gonna wash it out from my hair and then I'm gonna blend this really up really really nicely and uh, I'm gonna apply it to my hair and leave it on for about an hour again okay so let's just get on with the process i have my blended aloe in my um in my hair right now i actually took out the green stuff in it so i just did the the like the gel like things inside it and i blend it really well and then after blending for so long it kind of loses its stretch but usually i like to put it when it has the stretch inside of it and it's kind of slimy I don't know but I usually usually I like to do it like that but anyway so now I'm gonna leave this on my hair and I'm gonna go about my regular day do what I have to do around the house finish up everything else and then I'm gonna wash this out and I'm gonna put some um oh I'm gonna put the oil treatment in my hair that's the last thing okay so So this is my hair right here with all the um with the aloe vera inside of it so i'm gonna go take a shower i'm finished with the cleaning up of everything so i'm gonna take a shower and wash out my hair and then i'm gonna braid it just to help with the stretching oh 
I forget to clean my mirror. So I'm gonna clean my mirror and then I'm gonna um, take a shower, see over here. After I spray and stuff, I need to clean it. 